Hi, I'm Jasmine, and you're watching my channel, The Curious White Coat. In this series, Melanin Magic and Medicine, I highlight the different contributions of black individuals to the world of medicine. Today, I'm going to be throwing it back to the very first African-American physician, Dr. James McCune Smith. <music> Dr. James McCune Smith was born in New York on April 18 in the year 1813. Growing up, he attended primary school at the New York African Free School, which was for African American boys. He was able to learn Latin and Greek. He was also proficient in Spanish, Hebrew, Italian, and German. He loved to write, he loved to draw, he was a great speaker. Clearly, he was a pretty brilliant kid. There were a lot of other prominent African Americans who would also come through this school, and there was a sense of camaraderie among the students. They would encourage each other to reach their full potential, and they would often teach each other too. When it came time to apply for what we would consider to be higher education like college or graduate school, Dr. Smith was refused admission in the United States because of racist practices and policies. Instead, he went to Scotland, where he attended the University of Glasgow and was able to obtain his bachelor's, master's, and his medical degree as a physician. He then went on to complete his residency training in internal medicine in Paris, France, and then he returned to the United States in 1837, where he established his own medical practice and also opened up the first black-owned pharmacy in the United States. So to kind of give you some context, the American Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation wouldn't be for another couple of decades. Dr. Smith was living in a time where racial discrimination was an approved part of the law and slavery was rampant. With his determination and his intellect, he was able to become a well-known figure in his community. He was a doctor that served people from all walks of life, and he was also an author and an activist. He co-founded the Radical Abolitionist Party with Frederick Douglass. He used his medical knowledge and his keen understanding of biostatistics to refute the racist ideals in medicine and in the federal government. He openly refuted the 1850 Fugitive Slave Act, which required citizens from free states to help recapture people that were fleeing from slavery. Another good example is Dr. Smith's lecture on the fallacy of phrenology. So I actually remember learning about phrenology in undergrad. I took a course in anthropology and we talked about it a little bit. And phrenology is this fake bogus science about uh, the study of like people's skulls. They would measure the skulls of individuals from different, uh, different races and they came to this conclusion that non-white individuals had smaller skulls and therefore smaller brains than white people did. And that meant that we had, um, we were less capable of complex thought or intelligence and more prone to violence. Obviously it was completely untrue. The results were fabricated and it was just complete and utter nonsense. Dr. Smith also had a very big heart. He became the director of the Colored Orphans Asylum after hearing about the neglect and mistreatment that the children were facing there. He continued to be the director until the 1863 draft riots, which actually ended up in the facility being burned down, and he had to flee Manhattan. Among his many accomplishments, he became the first African American to have a publication in a peer-reviewed medical journal, and he also wrote the beginning introduction for Frederick Douglass's My Bondage and My Freedom. I've put a link in the description box if you're curious to read any of his other works. We don't have as much information about Dr. Smith as we do some other prominent figures, and I'm happy to be able to share some of his memory in this video. His legacy is a lesson for all people to be able to see how to use your role in society to serve your community and make the world a better place. Now, I hope you guys have been impressed by this moment of melanin magic on a great physician and activist. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.